So this is the enclosure that I built. It is diameter, or the outside edges, match the drip tray of the Tormach. Uh, 770 uh, base that you got. Um, if you notice down in the corner, I actually attached it to the base with some uh, metal, metal uh, ratchet cl uh, clamps. There's one in each of the different uh, corners. And then you'll notice here, I actually extended it out, giving me room for the vise, so that I have plenty of overhang. There's an acrylic drip shield. You can kind of see the seam line right there. I have a sliding window over on this side. I just made some very simple uh, slides with some glued together acrylic. So if I need to get to the cabinet, I can actually open the cabinet through the opening in the side window. Sliding glass doors. The sliding glass doors are attached with drawer slides, which I will show you here. They work quite well. Um, they seem to be holding the doors very level with no drooping problem. And you can see for the actual coolant right now I am using the Tormach lock line. And the coolant system is actually running at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and turn the coolant off so that you can see inside a little bit better. So now, uh, there's a close-up of the clamps. They just grip the lip. I have some rubber uh, door and window gasket seal around the lower edges to keep the coolant out. And I've sealed all the edges of the enclosure with um, some clear silicone gel. Everything is screwed together inside and mounted to the 2x4s. The drawer slides are kind of nice because they got a little, uh, they've got that soft close on them. So when I get to the ends, they just grab the doors and close them. All in all, I'm quite happy how it turned out. I used the Tormach coolant system. I had to put some uh, screen in there. I used some window screen, some metal window screen, and a sheet of brass screen that I found that is a very fine mesh. Um, I was having problems with the holes in the top of the drip plan clogging up, so uh, this seems to resolve that problem. I've, on the back of the mill, I've still got the opening, but I just put a piece of plexiglass in there, kind of bent around all the electronics, and kind of see here how it's bent around keeps all the moisture away from the back of the mill from splashing out all the panels were cut on a large laser engraver that I have and cutter CO2 um, can't think of anything else to show you right now but uh, the enclosure appears to be working quite well. Um, I did have a little issue where I never got the customized um, mounting system for relocating the coolant system when you have the tool changer so I just uh, mounted it to one of the spare screws, put a little Loctite on it and it seems to be holding nice and tight. Anyway that is my enclosure system for my Tormach and now I'm looking forward to using flood coolant. Just as a side note I had been using the fog buster for several years now and it was just time to upgrade to coolant because I'm doing deeper slotting type cuts. Thanks for watching. Bye.